What's going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here. And this application you guys are seeing right now is called Note Shelf. And I decided to do a straight up review, just a single review on the application Note Shelf. Um, the previous video I compared Notability versus Note Shelf, but it was a lot of things I got wrong and I want to sit down and actually review this application. Now Note Shelf is an application you'll find on the App Store. Um, it's going to cost you $10. And you guys are probably wondering, 10 bucks for an application? Yes, I know it's expensive, but you guys gotta understand. Before I even owned this iPad Pro, I used to go out and buy a binder, right? It, it, that cost me like about 10 or $13. Then not only that, you gotta buy the loose leaf. And then let's say you run out of loose leaf, you gotta buy more loose leaf. This is the only application you'll ever need for school purposes. Let's talk about the basic features. On the top, you have your pen. So if you tap on it, you can see all your colors. If you don't even see your color, you can just tap on this little color palette and you can basically select your color, your favorite color using this color spectrum. So any color from the spectrum you can choose from and that's a little handy feature. Not only that, you can also change the boldness of your um, pen. So if you wanna have the pressure sensitive mode, you can have that with this application or you can have the default, once it right, that's it no pressure sensitive mode basically you can also change the size of your pen if you like five is the default and also you have your highlighters very very similar um, to the pen tool very very similar and not only that this is one thing I got wrong on the comparison video to um, notability so if you tap on the shapes you can actually make your own shapes very very quickly so this line tap and go and that's it tap and go if you want to make a straight line if you want to make a triangle you just make a triangle and it's just gonna automatically make that shape for you. So that's a very, very handy feature. That's one of the features that I did got wrong on the previous video. And also you have your favorites. You can mark your favorite color, right? Save that into your preset. And you have your eraser. It's not the weird eraser. You can actually drag it around and just erase whatever is in this path. Then you have your text. So let's say you wanna just add in a text. You could tap anywhere on the screen and you could just Make a text. And if you're an emoji fan, you also have your dedicated button right there. You have all your emojis that you recently used. You can tap more. You have a load of emojis that you can choose from. And once you select your emoji, you can tap on it. It adds right onto your sheet of paper. So I don't know, maybe if you have a house, you can fill them up with emojis. You can have a lot of fun with the emoji tool. You can also add a picture pretty self-explanatory then my favorite feature you have the audio recording so let's say your professor is talking um, but he's saying a lot or if he's saying like an important information like a project due date or a midterm or a final you could actually record what the professor is talking about and then when you get in or when you're whenever you're free you could just play that back that recording and there you have it as you're looking at your notes you can listen to your professor all over again you have your scissor tool so you can move around the text you have the undo button, which is that arrow. And then you have your little, um, your broom. So that's going to erase everything that's on the page. You have your little column. That's going to take you right back into the interface of Note Shelf. On the right, on the top right, you have your palm rejection. So you can turn that on or turn it off if you like. You have your zoom feature, so you can zoom around. Now, I'm not really a big fan of this one. I'd rather have a pinch and zoom feature. Um, yes, they kind of have it. They have a zoom in, but it's not the same. And you know, when you're in a classroom, everything is all about speed now. And I have to be saying stuff like that because, you know, you know, you want to take your time with learning, you're learning stuff, but sometimes professors be moving fast or sometimes they move like a normal pace, which is fast or slow. And then you have that slow, really boring professors. So by the time you tap around the features and figure out where you want to go, I feel like this is a little bit time consuming but um it is what it is you'll get used to it you'll be fast with it now if you go to the gears you have your notebook settings so you could choose the paper you can select different uh presets of paper so you have the yellow paper you have your plain paper y rule college rule you have you know actually designs and you have stuff business maybe you don't you're not buying it for school or maybe you're taking an accounting class you have different presets of papers that you can choose from. This will be the only notebook that you'll ever need for your iPad because you have everything right here in your possession. You can make holiday cards. You can even play tic-tac-toe. Like the list goes on and on. I love this application and I highly recommend it. And of course, how can I forget? 
it does have Apple Pencil support. If you have an iPad Pro and an iPad Pro 2, you could be able to use the Apple Pencil, which I highly recommend it. It's totally worth it. $100, like I said, is expensive, but it is definitely worth it. Now, I believe this application is compatible with older iPad models, such as the iPad Air, iPad Air 2, or the um, or the recently new iPad, um, but that it doesn't support with the Apple Pencil. Um, and I guess you can buy third-party styluses, but hey, get this iPad Pro refurbished, and you're going to have the best notebook experience with this um, application, which is Note Shelf. If I have to rate this out of one through five, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Every notebook is right there on the shelf. It's really, really organized. I love the features, the emoji key. You can have a little bit of fun with it. Um, and overall, I highly recommend this application. And yeah, $10, this is gonna be the only $10 you ever need in terms of notebooks. And just get a nice little iPad case with a built-in folder, and this will be the only device you ever need to carry.